In the race for the fastest gaming CPU, AMD has been delivering impressive products starting with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which boasted 96 MB L3 cache. And now the Ryzen 9 7950 X3D with an impressive 144 MB of L3 cache. In this video, we'll focus on the Ryzen 9 7950 X3D and compare it to the standard 7950X and the Intel Core i9 3900K. The test configuration as follows, Core i9-3900K, CPU settings left untouched, using a cooler that maintained load temperature at around 93 degrees Celsius. As for the Ryzen 9 7950X and 7950X 3D, PBO settings enabled in the BIOS, temperature limit set to 90 degrees Celsius. All systems use the identical memory settings at DDR5 6000 CL30, which we have confirmed to be the sweet spot and easiest to achieve using most of the AMD Xbox certified DDR5 memory kits. If you are interested to know more about this, you can check out our recent test on the PNY Accelerate Gaming Marco RGB DDR5. The link can be found in the description below. Moving on to the benchmark numbers, let's start with the CPU synthetic benchmarks. The Ryzen 9 7950X takes the lead in data decompression with 7-zip, being 2% faster than the 7950X 3D and 24% faster than the 13900K. <laughs> However, the 7950X 3D is still 21% faster than the 13900K. In benchmark related to creative works, the 7950X 3D stays between the 3900K and 7950X most of the time. While single core performance is on par with the 7950X, the multi-core intensive performance falls behind the 7950X and 3900K on several occasions with power draw at low of only about 150 watts. That is not bad at all as the other two chips can easily draw up to 200 watt plus on load. Moving on to the actual game test, we saw a noticeable performance difference on 1080p and 1440p resolutions, not only for average frames but also the 1% low. For the games we've tested, the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D performed better than both the 7950X and 3900K most of the time, with improved 1% low frames for games that could take advantage of the extra L3 cache. However, at 4K resolution, which is more GPU bound, the performance difference wasn't that noticeable, with result mostly on par with the 7950X. In terms of power draw, the 7950X3D's highest power draw was at 150 watt, making it a commendable option for power efficiency. Thermals, on the other hand, can be set to a reasonable limit. It's not really something to worry about. It will still run perfectly fine even if you set the thermal limit to 65 degrees Celsius and slap on a Rave Prism cooler. But if you have a CPU cooler that can handle more than that, 85 degrees Celsius limit is pretty reasonable for both the 7950X and 7950X 3D. While we weren't blown away by the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D's performance numbers, we still find it to be an impressive CPU from AMD, especially with its power efficiency. However, it comes with a launch price of $699 US dollars, which is quite expensive compared to the $589 US dollars market price for the 7950X and the now lowered price Intel Core i9 3900K at $529 US dollars. To be frank, things are not looking good for the 7950X3D with that price right now. 
and I'll probably go for the 7950X. It might not have that much of L3 cache like the 7950X 3D, but price-wise, 5.9 USD is still much more attractive than 699. Until AMD decides to do something about the price, the 7950X will remain on the top spot of my recommended list for those who are interested in upgrading to the latest Zen 4 CPUs and finally embracing DDR5 memory. And that's all for this video. Do let us know your thoughts on the 7950X 3D in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.